for this video is I was talking with a friend um, mm, two days ago and I shared a story uh, and she was like, oh my gosh, would you, could you please point me to that when you, when you share it online? I would love to see that video. So here I am doing that video for you. This is a story about uh, this past Christmas and our family is very, very busy. We're just a crazy busy family. You know, I have one daughter at college. I have one daughter that spends half her life at the horse barn <laughs> and another daughter that spends her half of her life uh, doing ballet. I mean, she's there four days a week for two and a half hours a session, basically. Get there. It's the other girl is at the barn every day of the week. So Christmas time, time to put up decorations. One daughter's still off at college. She isn't back yet. And we're trying to figure out how do we do this in our limited amount of time that we have on the weekends and do it in the best way so that we get the right stuff up. And we, we're just probably not going to have enough time to get all the decorations up in time for Christmas. So what we did was uh, my wife and I, Jeannie, uh, took sticky notes and because, you know, I live and die by sticky notes. And we had the girls write down on the sticky notes their their number one things, right? The most important things. Hey, good morning. Good to see you, Brent. Um, we had them write down on, on these sticky notes, the most important thing for them that Christmas to put up. And just all of them, all of the things that were important to them. Piles, piles. So they ended up each with like 20, right? So that means we had 40, because the one girl's at college, uh, sticky notes that were sitting there in a pile. And the next thing that we did was said, we said to the girls, okay, what I want you to do is out of this pile of all of these possible things that we could put up, we kind of go crazy with Christmas. We have like 20 boxes of Christmas, like those bins, those Tupperware bins um, of Christmas stuff. So <laughs> kind of crazy. Uh, of all these things that, uh, that you've got, all these sticky notes, pick one and one of you go first and take turns. The most important thing that's in this pile. And we had them take it and they, they, they looked through all the pile and they found one first girl found one that she thought was most important. And she stuck it on the sliding glass door downstairs. Um, I'm working from my home today. Uh, and, and that was her number one. And then my other daughter picked through, looked through all of the ones that she had and that, that her sister had done. And she picked the one that was the most important to her. And then we had them just continue doing that of what's left in the pile. What's most important. This is most important. Of what's left in the pile. What's most important to you. This is most important of what's left in the pile. What's most important to you. Woo. What's most important to you? This one is. And then we went on and on and on and on. So they got a bunch of them up there. We didn't get all of them up there because we knew we didn't have time in that one weekend to get all of them done. But what we did was then, all right, dad's going to go to the garage and dig through the bins till he finds the number one and number two things. You guys work on those right away. So they grabbed, we grabbed them from the, you can't see it. Over here is, this is a workflow chart. I will take my current things off of it just to show you. My black pen is dead. Dead pen. You said ready, doing, done. And we put all of these sticky notes over there in the order that they had prioritized them. It's a super simple way to prioritize stuff. Just whatever's in the pile is what's most important to you. All right, sounds going coming in and out. I will move my microphone. Will it reach there? Yes. All right. So then we just started working the, from the top, and you know, Jillian took one, and Joy took one, and they started putting those things up. That was what they were going to do. The most important thing that gets done this weekend for them to, to celebrate the Christmas season. And then when they finished those things, got them all done, they pulled the next one off and worked on that thing. And, you know, I went to the garage, got through, found the things, and they put that thing up. And, you know, it's the nativity sets or it's the, um, we have this big red swag that sometimes we put up and we have the, they love to do the, the hearth with all the, the stockings and hanging and all that. Those are really important things to them. And so we worked on the most important things to the least important things. And we didn't get through the whole pile. 
We did not accomplish everything that we had on the list, but we did accomplish the most important things to them. And that's the, the point that I want to drive home is, you know, you'll see me talk on other videos about building a business and, you know, delivering what's most important to your customer first so that you get the most value out of it. But the, I want you to understand the principle. The principle underneath it is small pieces of work that are doable, prioritized by value, and working on one thing at a time until it's done. And then when it's done, it's done. It, it, was, it was shipped to our house, right? We decorated, it was there. And even though we didn't get everything up, the girls were happy because we were able to put up the most important things to them. And that's, that's it. That's what I, all I wanted to share on this video today is, it's just a super, and you can do this with your own daily tasks, right? In the, in the beginning of the week, write down all the stuff you have to get done in small tasks, small pieces of work. Um, really, I, I'd like, I like to write them in outcomes, not tasks. So sorry for that word. Um, what, what do you want to see done? What do you want to see accomplished? And put that on this, this sticky note. And work on those things till they're done. Pr prioritize them just exactly the way that I did with the kids. And work on one thing until it's done. And work on the next thing till it's done. Because there's so, there's so much, I mean, there's, there's a lot of um, philosophy and principles that underlie this very simple act, but uh, there's things like uh, the simple psychological and biological fact that when you move a sticky note, there's a shot of, uh, of serotonin that you get that's like, woo, that feels great. I am so happy. Yes, Nilu, good to see you this morning. Get the most important things done first, right? The trick is to break them down small and discreet. So they need to be independent of one another, yet small. And, and that, that could take some practice to get there. Um, but you could do this, like I said, with your, with your daily work for the week. Put it all down on sticky notes. Prior, this is what I, that's why I just took these things down. Was That's the stuff I've got working on this week. Pull it, put it all up there. Put it in priority order and work it in order. And that way you will accomplish what you wanted to get done, the most important things first. Like I said, you get that shot of serotonin, you get the most important things done and delivered first. And so that feels good. Just not, not only the moving, we love progress, right? So that's what that moving gives you, that boom of serotonin. But also you've gotten the most important thing done and out of the way. And so you really are, people will look at you and go, how in the heck do you get so much done in your work life. And it's because you work on the most important things. And then what I want you to do actually, once you've put all those sticky notes up there for the week and you prioritize them all, every morning, look at that list again and, and, and double check that your priorities haven't changed because they can sometimes. Sometimes you'll get a call on Tuesday afternoon that a new customer is hot and wants a proposal. Well, that new customer, you didn't know that new customer was coming. But the way this is set up, because everything is discrete and, and independent, not interdependent, independent pieces of work, you can just slap that new customer in there on the top of the list and they become the new top priority. You get their work done and then you just keep working into the old, the things that you had up there to begin with. So that's it, that's it. All I wanna say, um, it's a great and powerful tool. You will hear me talking about it a lot because it is very, very useful, yes. You could use, a, everyone could use a shot of serotonin. Isn't it good? It's, it's, but that's what this does. It, it plays with your head, right? It, give you, you know, make you addicted to success. That's what I would love to see. All right. Thank you all for being here. I love you all. And I will talk to you again soon.